you join us here we're leaving the Hanborough Wharf mooring and uh, Leon's captain for today so let's see how we navigate the boat shall we it's actually nice to uh, walk alongside the canal and watch somebody else steering the boat there's Callum Lott in the window he's chilling out sitting down cup of tea in hand very relaxed that's what it's all about uh, Callum and Leon have come down to uh, spend a couple of days with their old man <laughs> and uh, Leon's doing the lock Callum's, make, Callum's making tea we're heading towards I can't remember up the Birmingham Worcester Canal away from Hanbury Wharf up towards Birmingham I'll let you know in the description there we are look Mr Leon looks very confident in his uh, steerage there it actually frees me up so I can get some shots like this uh, without crashing the boat like I normally do it's unusual isn't it I like all the, I like all the doors at the back and the doors I do recommend you go into the uh, Chandler's 35 which is so helpful so helpful really are really nice people in there and the prices are pretty good as well, so I would recommend that you spend a couple of days at Hanborough Wharf and just uh, there's a junction there, you can there's a few canals you can walk down. And it's a very pretty place, really enjoyed it. Out of all my sons, uh, Leon's taking up the boating. Uh, he's the most enthusiastic about it, he loves it. He just loves the whole atmosphere, the quietness and the chill out. Even though he's a part, he's a party animal and he works in the drink industry he absolutely loves it it's, it's a big break for him and he's doing really well stirring the boat I think he's uh, trying to impress me by getting into the uh, locks without touching the sides I don't think it goes to plan it's very difficult <laughs> they are tight mate these ones they are pretty long thin metal tubes to steer you think you're lined up but Always a little bump somewhere. Couldn't have picked a harder lot for me to go in. I still feel alright there. Maybe straight. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to tell though, isn't it? You get up to this. By the time you get to the top, it's too late. I love this little bump. Just let me know that the uh, it's ready. Me and Leon's just talking about uh, about Callum inside behind his back, of course. They were just saying that um, some people like to be completely involved in the uh, narrowboat scene, you know, doing all the locks and running around. But Callum, he likes to sit and chill out, which is fine. That's what it's all about. It's about you can relax as much as you want or you can work as much as you want that's a good thing about the canal that's really the enjoyable side to it on the way down mate it is what's wrong with that I fell in up that drowned <laughs> it's up to your waist in the side anyway this is bridge number 40 now that's the 40th bridge I'm going to pass under since Worcester Pretty tight aren't they these locks <laughs> no look at that got three sons and two daughters, Callum, Leon, Katie, Bradley, Sherelle. Must admit, the boys enjoy it the most. Oh. Cups of tea's our kid. No tea boy. Hey, tea man. Diddle da 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 tea man. Yeah, cheers mate. Thank you. Right. Beautiful. You're going to do a lock or won't you bother? No, I'm hiding away. No, you're just chilling out? Yeah. Okay, what's that? And here's yet another 
beautiful and picturesque cottage. This is lock 19 since Worcester. Oh, he's getting nervous, look. He's trying to get into that lock without touching the sides. Let's see if he can do it. Mm, not bad. Locks are tight. He's on the phone though. It is a great um, teaching experience for the lads. The teamwork, you know, bonding, all that kind of stuff is great. Callum's decided to come out now. Look, he's. Uh starting to uh, take a bit of interest. Fair play to him now, he wants to have a go at uh, doing the doing the locks, which is great. You can hear Leon there blurting out the orders. fairness to him he's he's uh, although he's not uh, naturally into boating he'll give it a go fair play to him cool hey look at that cheesy green you think it's built a house or something wouldn't you this is my 41st bridge from Worcester I've done now I've not done them I've been under them I made it mate out of Lego but they're coming up because I've opened those locks and left them open. <laughs> there was someone there, yeah. There definitely was someone there. Should we uh, more here on the right hand side? Just, just check out the road here a lot as well. Yeah, I'll pull up and see if there's houses down there, so it might be a town. Shop. Oh, this, this is Stoke Prior. I'm heading towards the six locks, and then uh, after that, it's 30 locks. So I'm going to do six locks today and then hopefully get a mooring and then tackle the 30 locks tomorrow this the weather's nice let's see how we go shall we we moored up but I didn't uh, film that I didn't always film everything and uh, this is the next day as I'm moving on the boys have gone back there's a lovely little pub boat here lot that you can uh, go on to very nice section of the canal here there's a pub uh, across from the water point if you want to go there for something to eat or for a little drinky poos. This pub is called the uh, Boat and Railway Pub. Uh, just opposite here that you've got a, a decent uh, water point. I've got some water and then get going again. After I uh, mentioned there's 36 locks ahead to the boys, uh, it's disappeared. Strange, isn't it? No, I'm just teasing. They both had to uh, go back to work. There is a, a beautiful brand new housing estate uh, on the right hand side here. It's a shame that they've uh, not incorporated this bridge or the canal into that little housing estate would have been a nice feature. I've noticed on my travels that it's been a, a lot of uh, development along the canal side. weather's not too bad it's getting colder obviously the end of September November starting to see all the leaves starting to fall I have noticed lately that uh, when my boats on tick over 
it's uh, knocking a bit or it's vibrating a lot more than what it normally does I'm sure I've got an engine mounting that's uh, starting to deteriorate so that might be a future vlog this is a uh, very brightly coloured boat that colour does pop doesn't it Coming up to Stoke Prior, Stoke Wharf or whatever it is, uh, they, they sell diesel, as you can see there, and they've got, they sell gas. They've got one of these um, painting enclosures, tents or floating pontoons, whatever you call them. They, uh, they had a boat in there, at the time I was passing, you could smell all the paint, lovely smell. First lock of the day. See there, the uh, salt springs were first discovered uh, at Stoke during the uh, canal's initial construction. So that's really interesting. We've also got this very nice uh, Leslie Harris picnic site as well. This is the uh, Black Prince uh, Hire Boat Company along here I'm sure that they um, build and fit out their own hire boats well, I might be wrong I don't know but this one needs windows before it rains otherwise that floor's going to get rusty inside this one looks very similar to the design of my boat should be the last lock of the day. Uh, it's lock number six. I'm hoping that there's some moorings further up. Let's find out, shall we? That's a very pretty row of canal side cottages. These two uh, little angels on the towpath there decided to give me a hand with the locks and I said to them, run ahead and uh, with your parents and give me a hand if you want there they are proud of themselves lot and excited hey, opening the gate yeah. for me I really enjoyed it it's little things like this that uh, you know it makes it all worthwhile let's be help you lot okay so I've done the uh, I've done the six lock flight uh, you're going to have to leave it here now, and I hope you join me next time for the 30 lot flight uh, to Tardybeg. So uh, thanks for watching, and please join me again.